How's it going, Internet? I hope you're having a lovely day. It's that time again. It's time to get into some animation, uh, get that imagination all cranked up, get into some creativity, and it's time to get inspired. And today's inspiration comes from the beautiful work of Russell Dowderman. And if you're not familiar with his work, check right over here. Uh, he is a wonderful uh, comic book artist and illustrator, uh, concept artist extraordinaire. I love his work. I think he's got a great, great sense of anatomy and uh, really, really strong line work and a great uh, sense of imagination and everything throughout his work as well and uh, great staging and, and layout with the composition of uh, the page layouts and everything too it's a really interesting um, perspective because you, you this is what I love about comic books is they're they're very um, almost like a movie because um, you got your your main large layout here that really sets the frame and the backdrop for the whole scene here and you've got uh, you know a short panel here and then a close-up so you really get uh, that emotion and everything here but I love these characters here these frost giants they're really really cool uh, I think he's just did a wonderful job here and this is a, a great piece as well again just really intricate and pretty line work um, that I love in all of his stuff and then just a really nice composition as a whole everything kind of plays well together and there's a nice flow throughout it as well. Um, so definitely check out more of his stuff. But I did want to uh, want to um, share a quote with you guys uh, from him. And that was, uh, I'm just trying to keep improving and to hopefully do good work. And I think that's uh, a great mindset to have as a creative person. A lot of times you can get uh, hard on yourself if something doesn't uh, go the way you want or that you're not progressing fast enough or that it's just a lot of, you know, um, a struggle or you know or you're just amazing and everything and you just think everything you're doing is golden and wonderful but i think a good kind of grounded um, perspective to have on just this whole uh, journey is to just say you know what i'm just trying to keep improving and hopefully do something you know good that reaches out and touches people but you're just trying to improve and and uh, I think that's that's a good perspective to have. It's hard some days to do that. You either want to like you know throw your pencils at the wall or you know rip your painting up if it's not working right or you know be or just go on and say you know what this piece is perfect. I'm so wonderful and you know go out and show all your friends and everything. But I think to, to try and just humble it up and also give yourself a little bit of leeway too when things don't work out is it's finding that area right in between. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get into some animation. This is the Chevy rig. It's a free rig you can grab over at Creative Crash, and I will throw a link in the description below, as long, uh, along with more stuff about Russell Dowderman as well. If you're not familiar with what we'll be doing for the rest of the videos, we give ourselves 48 frames, give or take, and I go off and I find a rig that I've never used before. It's a free resource for you guys to play around with as well. And we kind of go from there, a little bit of uh, just over the shoulder, hang out with me while I animate, a little bit of talking through the process or something to do with the creative world in general. But the main goal of doing these videos each and every day is to hopefully encourage you guys and inspire you to go off and create your own stuff. So that being said, let's uh, start playing around. So I was thinking for this one, since um, we could probably play with some of these controllers, I think I just wanted to do an overall shot. Um, let's start with uh, just the car moving itself. So. Just go here and we'll set that one. And then I want to create a new camera here so that I can flip back in. And I think I might even do perspective one here and do something more like that for this shot. Um, we'll see. I'll probably keep it. But this way, I'm, I'm really playing the camera here. So we'll start off here and set that one. And we'll go to about frame, actually, um, 10. And we'll go here. And we'll rotate it a little bit in Y. Translate it over in Z. Forward more. So we've got. up with it all the way here here we have to change our perspective a little bit and rotate it there 
this one's a little too close here. So we're going to want to push that over there, over there. Get the tilt our camera up a little bit more. And this would end up kind of there instead. Let's see it. Okay, we got additional cleanup there, but yeah, let's make a little bit better of an arc here. So I'm gonna push it out there over a little bit more. And this would go over here. See how that looks now. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and go ahead and set a key here too, and then we'll go window, animation editors, graph editor. We'll give ourselves few more frames to get there, kind of slow out of that. And then let's go uh, 64 frames for the total here. And we'll go 25 and then so we get real slow out of that. A little more movement. Okay, so let's see how that timing feels. That feels a little bit better. This one, let's see how it would look in camera. Let's see if we can get zoom even a little bit. Try to get right at the camera so we can make sure that we're in frame for all of it. Let's see how that feels. shave a frame out of this area as well. So let's see. Maybe one more frame here so it kind of holds a little bit. Let's see. to hit about a frame sooner though. So maybe we'll just delete that one one more. Let's see. And I think we want to go over here and back there a little bit more. So we'll set that. Still feel like maybe we cut one more frame out of this. Maybe it's just holding a little too long. And maybe we give ourselves
out that ending a little bit more. Let's just slow out of that a little bit more. Make it a little bit faster than that. Extreme as thirty one. Let's get up to nine and it'll just go there. Thirty three, about thirty eight. still left in there. Okay, and maybe we'll give ourselves a couple more frames at the beginning here. So we'll go about one more, a couple more. the rotate y to be further back. Mm, maybe only like a frame later. sooner here. Okay, so let's go ahead and save our file here and let's start polishing these curves a little bit better. So let's look at our uh, translate Z here. So we can make this curve look a little bit nicer. Pretty much.
much keeping our keys where we want them, but I guess probably make our curves a little bit more. Make sure they feed into each other a little bit better. And let's go trim some X in there. push my keys themselves just the curves in between them. Let's see how that feels. Okay, well let's uh, look at the top here. We'll have it kind of low down here. Keep it pretty much at zero here. We'll keep it low there. Here should probably be overshot a little bit. too slow. So let's go about two frames sooner. And again about two frames sooner. much up. We'll do a little bit of up and down here. Kind of zero out there. Let's see. Let's see if that feels good. Again. We really want our lowest point to be right around here. We can start going a little bit higher here. Gradually get out of that a little bit better. Let's see. We'll do a little bit more. So we go. Six frames, seven frames, and then you go eight frames from that. Okay, that's a little more balanced. Maybe tone it down a little bit more overall. cycle so that would be what do we go here nine frames so we need 21 more frames so that would be uh, 85 so then we go
Okay, and so here, look at the front, and here we want to push it down there a little bit. So we'll key that. And we're going to key this one. Similar timing here. We're going to do a little bit on the front end as well. So we kind of lead it so we go probably about two frames sooner. Maybe a few frames sooner than that. And this would be overshot a little bit. So that we get back down there. Okay, let's take a look at that. Exaggerated, so we'll pull it back. Keep that on. Okay, and let's see. file here and we'll start off and we'll key it there and we'll go down a little bit later here and then we'll kind of match up the timing here just so we get a rough base for our timing using the original one and we'll delay it a couple frames from what this one's doing This needs to be a few frames sooner and probably less. Let's see now. Maybe one frame sooner, two frames sooner. Let's see.
picture from right where he is. Yeah, he's turning around. I'm just seeing him. Keep him at about zero there. Let's go back to our original perspective and see how it's playing. And we should still have a little bit of movement all the way till about here. too much and a little too long, so we'll take 50 and bring it up to about 54. Let's see. Okay. Is there a wheel rotate? No. Okay, let's see, is there a... We can do those ones, but we can't rotate the back wheels? That's kind of a bummer. Oh well, we'll make do. I was thinking maybe there would be a spin or something on there. But there is on the front so I guess we can do that. Although it feels almost awkward to have the front wheels rotating and not have the back ones, but we can deal with it. Okay, and let's look back at our original camera angle here. Before I go any further, I'm going to go to a uh, window outliner. I've got my uh, perspective one here. Oh, that's the one I'm using. No, I want a perspective camera. I'm going to do it here. I'm just going to make sure I lock in my perspective camera. Okay. Now I can go back to uh, looking at the wheels here. Okay, let's make sure we turn everything off except for under curves.
checking those now. Let's see, grab the tires correctly. So let's make sure we grab both of those. Go back to our other camera. So we're playing with the camera. What's going on here? Come on. Okay, we select. Rotating tires. Oh, what a bummer. Actually, that's uh, that was all kind of for naught. Let's just check one more time to make sure. Ugh, selecting these tires is kind of a burden. There we go. Okay. Just want to make sure there's no way this rotate actually going to spin the tires. No. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Now that that's done, four hours later. Let's uh, just turn our textures on and see how it looks. Now, I think we might not be able to go so low with the front end because we're getting some intersection there. So maybe we'll just... Lane up here, maybe that's why it's going so low. Go a little bit higher like that. No, it's too high now, right? So let's find a medium ground here. So we'll go a little bit lower here. We'll go our front end. Step a couple steps back where we had it before. We're just not going to be able to go as low overall with everything, so we're going to have to bring it back. <coughs> Transfer Y. Bring it back here. And this one as well. Scaling it in at least we're not intersecting the tire here. I'm probably do that. save our file here and let's create a quick little ground and background i'm just going to create a new camera because that camera was annoying me so we'll go ahead and now create polygon primitives we'll do a cube here and we'll scale that out a little bit more let's look back at our other perspective here we'll watch for our horizon line Rotate it a little bit. 
we got a little bit of movement in there and kind of a more dynamic scene we still kept a fairly good arc throughout the whole movement probably track it a little bit better and we got a little bit of drag in the end there too yeah i think that works Go ahead and turn our nerve curves off. Go ahead and go back and just let that loop. And we'll take a look back at where we started. We looked at the beautiful work of Russell, Russell Dauterman. And he said, I'm just trying to keep improving and hopefully do good work. It's a great goal, um, great mindset, I think, to have. I know for myself, that's um, a good way to kind of stay in the um, humble and yet not too critical um, vein of thinking that's healthy for a uh, a long sustained um, journey of building your creativity so thanks again for watching thanks for hanging out i love you guys lots um, thanks for all the likes and subscribes i hope you guys took another step uh, in your journey towards mastering whatever medium it is that you're passionate about and uh, i guess that'll wrap it up for today so we will see you for some more animation tomorrow